When the redesigned Ford Everest arrives later this year it will offer more technology, capability, a new turbo diesel V6, and a new platinum flagship. It continues to be the SUV counterpart to the Ranger, which means it's based on the redesigned Ute do here mid-year, and therefore uses a heavily updated version of the existing T6 platform. When the Nissan Terra first came out in 2018, it gained a reputation for having the best ride in the pickup-based SUV segment. It also packed a number of innovative Nissan Intelligent Mobility Driver Assist features. However, it didn't exactly push any boundaries, and its competitors easily surged ahead just a few years later. Fast forward to this day, the 2022 Nissan Terra comprehensively updated the Terra in response to customer feedback. Inside, the Platinum exclusively offers quilted leather upholstery, ambient lighting, and a panoramic sunroof. All models feature a SYNC 4A infotainment system with wireless Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. All bar the Ambiente use a 12-inch portrait-oriented touchscreen infotainment system, with the base model using a 10.1-inch. All Everest models have been significantly upgraded from a soft trim perspective, according to Wolf. Ford says it's worked to make the Everest more comfortable for longer journeys, with engineers also looking at the mirrors, door seals, and even brakes to make the cabin quieter. The company says it's maximized the packaging for the largely identical external footprint, with more elbow, leg, and shoulder room for those in the front and back. It also says the Platinum with its panoramic roof has more headroom than the old Titanium, which also featured a panoramic roof. The sliding second row split slash fold 60-40, with the third row featuring a 50-50 split. Both rows have been designed to fold flat. Ford has increased the size of the rear window, and changed the angle of the rear glass to provide third row occupants with more light. The third row also has more shoulder room, and functional storage, while Ford says it's also easier to get in, and out of. Platinum models also feature power folding capability for this row. There's an underfloor storage area, while Ford has installed a small lip for the load area, which it calls an apple catcher, to prevent items from rolling out when you open the tailgate. Ford says female customers were included in the development process. I think the interior is a clear area of evidence in terms of the customer feedback from our female customers, said T6 program manager Pritika Maharaj. Things like design lighting, the IP, the, dash mounted, pop out, cup holders in the instrument panel, there's lots of features that I think are very much in response to what female customers have asked, and said is important to them. If you think the exterior looks great, wait till you see the 2022 Nissan Terra VL's interior. The plasticky dashboard that's straight out of the Navara has been ripped out in favor of a completely new, more premium dashboard design. The top of the dash is still finished in hard plastic, but that's nothing compared to the wide expanse of red leather dominating your view. Even the knurled climate knobs have a metallic feel, and all the buttons you interact with now have a crisp and damp feel. The center console is also completely new, 
and this is in order to accommodate the new electronic parking brake for the VL variants. Unfortunately, while the flat bottom steering is new, it still does not have telescopic adjustment, which can be a challenge for a few drivers. Still, the zero gravity seats continue to be one of the best in the class, and it offers the most generous lumbar adjustment as well in its segment. Also new for the 2022 update is the 9-inch infotainment system that runs a second generation of the Nissan Connect operating system. The graphics are sharp, crisp, and gorgeous, though it's not as responsive as Ford Sync 3. This new infotainment system also comes with wireless Apple CarPlay a Terra exclusive, and wired Android Auto. Because of this, iPhone users will happily enjoy the new wireless charging pad. As with the redesigned Ranger upon which it's based, the new Everest gets the option of a 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6 formerly used in the F-150 pickup truck. The outgoing model's 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel 4-cylinder will continue, but the 3.2-liter turbo diesel 5-cylinder is dead. Both the 2.0-liter and 3.0-liter turbo diesels are mated exclusively with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Outputs haven't been confirmed for the new Everest, however the outgoing model produces 157 kilowatts of power and 500 newton meters when equipped with the 2.0 liter bi turbo, while the 3.0 liter V6 produced 190 kilowatts and 597 newton meters in the F150. The presence of a V6 diesel is unusual in this segment. The likes of the Toyota Fortuner and Prado, Isuzu MUX, and Mitsubishi Pajero Sport are available only with four-cylinder turbo diesels, while the Jeep Grand Cherokee is losing its turbo diesel V6 with the WL redesign this year. In other markets, the Everest will also be offered with the new, single-turbo 2.0-liter four-cylinder found in the Ranger, as well as the 2.3-liter EcoBoost petrol four-cylinder which Ford says is the company's highest volume engine globally. Ford says the maximum brake towing capacity for the Everest is now an Isuzu MUX matching 3,500 kg when equipped with the optional tow pack. This package includes a trailer light check function, and connection checklist, and a dedicated towing drive mode. A trailer brake controller is integrated into the instrument panel, and the system ensures smooth trailer braking by powering the trailer's electric brakes with a proportional output based on the towing vehicle's brake pressure. The driver can also manually override this. Selectable drive modes include comprise normal, eco, tow haul, and slippery, while the off-road modes, available on the 4x4 trend, sport, and platinum, include mud slash ruts, and sand. There's space in the engine bay for a second battery to be installed. Powering the 2022 Nissan Terra VL is the same 2.5-liter inline-4 turbo diesel engine as before, which means it produces 190 horsepower at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 450 newton meters of torque at 2,000 revolutions per minute. It still does not sound as modern as rivaling diesel engines, nor does it produce as class-leading figures, but it has a decent torque curve that makes the most out of its available torque. Its linear power delivery makes it good for overtaking and it still has a decent amount of pull at the higher revs, unlike Ford's diesel engines. The seven-speed automatic is still unchanged, though it works well under most circumstances. What's impressive this time around is the Terra's significantly improved refinement. When inside the Terra, the engine is hushed and muted. Along with the added sound suppression measures such as added insulation in the chassis, and the new double-layer acoustic glass, the new Terra is now one of the quietest and most refined SUVs in its class.